Hello everybody, Luke back once again. This time with the Keurig Duo Essential. Now this is their new line of both a traditional K-cup and a traditional coffee pot coffee maker. All in one device, you don't need two, which is nice. You know, often we just want the K-cup because it's just my wife and I, but if we have family or friends over, it's nice sometimes to make a full pot of coffee. And this allows you to do this. Uh, this was actually a misshipment to me. I ordered the more expensive one, which has some additional features I'll talk about here. I opened this up, very excited to get it, and realized they sent me the Essentials, which is only about 100 bucks at most places right now, where the more expensive one was a little over $70 more expensive for what I paid. Now, I'm going to be talking about this um, this one here. I've used the Essential at other people's homes. I'm actually going to return it as soon as I'm done with the video. I had to open it up, so hey, why not? That's why you see the red tag there showing. I've never actually plugged this in or used it. Uh, we're going to return this. Amazon promised to get us the correct one later this week, and we will review that then. But I've used this in other people's homes, so let's take a look at this. First though, I will put a link to this on Amazon down in the show notes down below if you want to find that right there. And you can find this on many different stores out there other than Amazon, but I'll link it there um, if you want to learn current pricing, pricing changes so often. Also, if you want to help us out, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, and hopefully more people will find this video that way. All right, let's talk about the essentials. It's pretty standard. It does have a full 12 cup pot here. It makes between eight and 12 ounces of coffee through the K-cup. It does have the removable tray here to catch any spills. Pretty standard, straightforward. You got your little bin here for your grounds for traditional coffee. And then you got a reservoir in the back here, which holds a lot of water to make coffee. Now, very easy to use. Now, if you want to use a K-cup, you just press the K-cup icon and which size cup you want, 8, 10, or 12. If you want to use the traditional coffee pot, you just press that one and you say 12 cups, 10 cups, or 8 cups you want made. Pretty straightforward. Also, it will illuminate red for here if the heating plate is on for the traditional one. And then to hold, turn this all off, you just hold whatever button and it will eventually turn off. Now, this is all plastic. The Essentials is an all-plastic Black, straightforward, pretty, um, nice looking, nice made. You know, Keurig is known for making decent quality coffee makers. And it's pretty straightforward with the K-cup. If you ever use it, pop it in, put the K-cup there, close it, you're done. It's like what you want. And then you do have the grounds um, holder here. Now, one thing about this I did notice is you do have to line it up perfectly at the top there. It's not too hard. Once you've done it once or twice, you get the idea. But if it's not going in, double check that you lined it up properly. It's kind of one of those things, once you do it, you get the feel for it. The coffee um, pot right here is pretty straightforward, 12 cups. The only thing I'm kind of not a big fan of is you kind of want to have it this way, the handle sticking out to the side. But if you want to see how many cups remain, you got to spin it around so you can't use the K-cup side of it. Minor issue, slightly annoying, not a big deal. Overall, it's pretty nice. It does have about a two-foot cable, I'm guessing, right here. Pretty standard. It does the job. I think if you're having this on a countertop in your kitchen, you probably have a plug within two feet. Um, so you really don't want something too long, have to try to hide the cable. Now, this version, the Essentials, is about $70 cheaper than the one I actually paid for. That one had a few features. For example, the ability to put taller cups in here for travel cups. I like to use travel cups when I'm drinking my morning tea or if you drink coffee or whatever. Also, it had a programmable ability to um, set it to auto make coffee in the morning, which is really nice. If you know you have a lot of people rush out of the airport, you set the everything up and you have it make coffee first thing in the morning. Kind of a cool feature. Also, the more expensive ones have more of a stainless steel metal look to it. A little higher end look, a little higher end feel. And that fits our kitchen aesthetics a little bit better. So I kind of wanted to use that or have that in our kitchen versus this all black one. Kind of disappointed that we got a complete, the raw model. I don't think I've ever had that happen with Amazon. They were really good. We're going to literally drop this in the um, box and bring it to the UPS store and drop it off as soon as I'm done here to get the correct model delivered in just a few days. Overall, I'm, I would be happy if this is what I ordered for 100 bucks. You know, to get two coffee makers in one um, is pretty nice. The ability to have very easy controls, just say, hey, I want 12 cups, I want 12 ounces for a K-cup, for example, very straightforward. Not a lot to say about it past that. 
Um, now, again, with all things, uh, you get what you pay for a little bit. We'll compare this to the more expensive one once I get it in my hands here in a few days. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know you enjoy what I do here. And if you want to find this on Amazon, check out the link in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. By hitting that subscribe, by hitting that thumbs up, you help Amazon recommend our video to other people. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with another video real soon.